Hi, my name is Linda Sorrento, and I teach job search skills for Arapahoe Community College Community Education. Welcome. In the class, we talk about the clues to the hidden job market, to your interview skills, and to your resumes, and it's for people who are looking for their first job, or for people who have had many jobs, maybe you've been laid off, or for people wanting to change their careers. And the first thing that we do is talk about the hidden job market. Now, if most of you are sitting there applying for jobs online, attaching your resume, and hitting send, I'm going to say to you that you're wasting your time. And I'm going to tell you some low-tech and high-tech ways to find out where are these jobs. One of the low-tech ways that I like to use are, yes, your telephone directory, the Yellow Pages. And in the class, we'll give you examples of things that you can do to jumpstart your job search. The second thing you can do is a LinkedIn profile. And this is so critical, it's the professional social media. You're going to access the hidden job market with a skill that we call informational interviews. And believe it or not, you're going to start your job search by interviewing people who are out in the field. Now, why do people want to give you that information? Well, most people like to give advice, and most people don't get asked enough. And if you ask them, they'll do it. So tip number one, access the hidden job market. And in session one, we're going to show you exactly how to do that and give you a script for the hidden job market question. The second clue are resumes. Now, maybe you haven't done a resume in a while, and maybe you don't have one at all. We will get that together. But the most important tip I want to leave with you is resumes have to have keywords in them. And the reason for that is there are scanners, ATS scanners, that will look for keywords. And if you don't have them in your resume, you're basically not found. You don't have a presence there. I want you to have a presence there so you can be found. The second thing I ask people to do is get some advice on your resume before you send it out from people, A, who know about resumes. They may not be a technical person in your field. The second type person to look at your resume is someone who is in the field you're in, whether that's hairdressing, whether that's information technology, or you're an engineer, you want those people to look at your resume to be sure you've hit on the key points. Third is the interviews. Now with the interviews, we're going to talk about questions to, for you to ask the employer. That's right, we think we're just being answering questions. And then I'm going to tell you some questions to never ask the employer. The last thing I want to leave you with is something most people never do. And I want you to get to love your rejects. All those rejects you got, what do people do? They delete them from their computer and ask you to look at those and follow up because 30% of the jobs are gotten as a result of follow up after the interview's over. So won't you come join us? We'll help you accelerate your job search. Thanks very much.